The Archer's Choice TV Show with America's favorite bow hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. Having the confidence in yourself as well as your equipment. And never forgetting it takes a little bit of luck too. And in our case, a lot of luck. You draw, anchor, aim, and in that second of time, nothing else seems to matter. You forget the long days of seeing nothing, times when you were hot, cold, tired, and bored, the many hours spent away from the family and friends, challenging the weather, conditions, terrain, and putting your body and mind through severe tests that only the strong can survive. But it's all forgotten, for it all boils down to that one millisecond of time in our lives when it's you, God's creation, and you have to make that choice. You release. There's a black. Is that a bear or what? Look at the size of this bear! He's a bruiser. We're back. It's another season with Vicky and I and the Archer's Choice mm -hmm. Tango Hunters. Yes. What are you I'm doing? I'm so proud of you. Why? Because you finally got it in the right order. What are you talking about? Vicky and you. Oh, it's going to be a long season. But yes, we are back and better than ever. And we want to thank you and all of our sponsors for making Archer's Choice your choice. And we're pretty excited. We can't wait to show you the exciting year that we had with wild, true bow hunting action. You know, we don't know where to start because we get so excited trying to share with you all the great people we met, the adventures we went on, and the animals we took. Whether it was turkeys or bears or moose or elk, and then there's deer. Oh, what a year for deer. 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 Yeah, hmm. deer. When it comes to bow hunting whitetails, one of my favorite places to go is Colorado. And I was fortunate enough to draw a tag last fall. Now, when we were hunting near Lamar, you were talking river bottom whitetails and big bucks. The buck doe ratio is so close, one to one. I mean, they're always spying, they're always fighting, and if you wait too late to get out there, they're all busted up. <laughs> oh my, he's got rubs on his head there. Oh, 
He is beautiful. Look at this blue. Oh. This, this, he's got a darker rack. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. This past season, we had a great opportunity. We shared with the head of marketing at Hoyt USA a great hunt with Mike, Mike Looper. Looper. Yeah, we brought Mike, Mike came in from from Utah. Now remember, he's used to hunting elk and muleys, used to climbing all those mountains, those ridges. Definitely not used to sitting in a summit tree stand. No, he no. he <laughs> was not in tune to just sitting there waiting for the game. He's used to chasing it. Definitely. But he's hooked on Midwestern big buck action. Can you believe that branch? One, one branch? One branch. You know, that's cost a whole bunch of people a lot of hunts. But you know what? It's better not to take that shot. And Mike, I, we had so much fun with Mike. Is Mike a blast or what? You he, never know what's going to happen with him. No, well, he's not used to sitting in the summit stands. He's not used to sitting in a tree. He's used to hiking and doing everything else. And he got cold a couple times. You know, a lot of those Western guys, that's what they're used to. Going after the game, when you come out here for those whitetails, most of the you got to wait. Yep. And it's hard. Yeah. Hey, we'll be right back with more of the Archer's Choice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Vicki, this next hunt is definitely looking at you. You're glowing. It's one of your favorites. Bear hunting. Yep. I love bear hunting. It's the adrenaline. It's the whole come up tree, eat my feet kind of adrenaline pump and rush. You know, it just, you can't. And you were fortunate enough to share that opportunity, that experience with Sean on the ground. Oh, it was a blast. You got to check this out.
Friday afternoon in high level Alberta. Ralph and I came out here to uh, possibly film me taking this black bear. I had uh, sat the stand last night and looked uh, mm -hmm. at come in and taking the bait bucket from the front of the stand wow. and drug it out about 30 yards behind the bait barrel. We sat there all night long until about 11.30 when I came out. We tried the plan of putting the bait in front of the barrel this afternoon in front of the barrel and have the, uh, the bear come in and present a shot, but it never did. It stayed back again. Ralph and I decided about 3.30 this afternoon to climb down out of the stand and see if we could stalk up on the bear and try to take it that way. We got within about 25 yards or so and it stood up and started walking towards us and presented a broadside shot through a narrow window and I was able to take the bear. Very lucky shot. Tell me about that hunt. My gosh, you would not get me on the ground 20 yards from a bear. Come on, Vic. You, our adrenaline, both of us, I don't know who was more excited. We both were at, I mean, the highest high. It was like, here it is, close, 20 yards. That bear's coming down. And you know what? I I wasn't scared at all. No, because you know you can outrun Sean. I knew I could outrun him, so I had it made. Poor Shawnee. Hey, we'll be right back with more of the Archer's Choice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You know, this next hunt, we headed down to Florida. For some hog hunting. When we headed down there, we figured it was going to be a little warmer. Didn't bring any cold weather gear with us. No. It was chilly. We froze, but we had a great hunt. Check this out. In today's society, you know, it's getting a little bit tougher to get a lot more of the newcomers in our sport, especially our wives, our girlfriends, whatever, and you know the kids. Hog hunting is a blast. They don't have to, a lot of times you don't have to sit up in a tree stand and wait for days, you know, for that one opportunity. You can go out and make it happen, and making it happen, you know, you, it's, it's more of a, an instantaneous type of hunt. You're into action most of the time. So this type of hunting, this hog hunting, is a great avenue for the newcomers to get those families into it. And the other thing is, let's face it, hogs, they ain't the prettiest thing out there. I was going to give you one tip on being more successful on your next hog hunt. Locate the food source. These babies love to eat. So whether it's going to be a fresh rooting area, we're out in, a, out in an agricultural field, or maybe even where the farmer's feeding the cattle, or even a feeder, you locate these food sources, those pigs will be there.
a good sign. There he is. It's right here. Oh. We're down in Florida, hunting the wild hogs. This is my first Florida wild hog, and he's a beauty. Stay tuned for more of the Archer's Choice. Folks, sometimes our hunts go as planned. Most of the time, they don't. <laughs> this is not a perfect world, and none of us are perfect. And for some, that's not enough. And for that, we apologize. We love this sport, and we want to promote it to every single family member. For this is our goal. We're striving to stop the fighting amongst ourselves. No matter what you hunt with, recur, longbow, compound, inline muzzle, or flintlock, baiting or not baiting, crossbow, it shouldn't matter. We are all sportsmen and women, and we all need to stick together. And it's not for us, but it's for the little ones. That's our future. We pray that we can stand strong and stick together so when they grow up, their choice can be the archer's choice. See you next week. Same time. Same station. Right, right here on, on the Archer's Choice. choice.